It's finally here. Unleashed PC. For real this time. Gone are the days of having to suffer through random crashes or harness the power of a quantum computer to reach 25 FPS. Nah, this is so easy that even my goofy ass dual core laptop from eight years ago can spit out playable frames. Yes, my friends, we've finally moved beyond emulation to a native PC recompilation. Thanks to the beautiful people over at HedgeDev, many of whom you're probably already familiar with. Now, you may be wondering what this means for you, the gamer. Well, let me give you a quick rundown, and then we'll move on to how to get it all set up. I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty of what a recomp is. That requires a deeper explanation than I'm qualified to give, and you can easily search for Digital Foundry. All you really need to know is that instead of trying to reproduce all the functionality of a console, as will be the case with emulation, functions in the game's code have been translated to run natively on your computer. You may be wondering why this matters. Essentially, emulation is quite a resource-heavy affair that often comes with its own host of issues. As emulators are designed to mimic systems they are based off, a lot of the time games played on them can run into the same limitations as their original versions. Features such as higher resolutions and frame rates have to be hacked in, which can lead to poor performance and glitchiness. A recomp, on the other hand, can offer these attributes and more, all from within the game's code. They often also come with the added benefit of having native PC features, such as a fully fleshed out options menu, and support for other aspect ratios, like ultra-wide. Now that we've got that all out of the way, let's get down to the installation process. The following has been split up into two sections. The first part will detail how to dump the game files from an Xbox 360, and the second part will be the installation of the game. Feel free to skip ahead if you already have the necessary game files. Hardware-wise, you'll need a copy of Sonic Unleashed, an Xbox 360 hard drive transfer cable. These can be purchased secondhand for a relatively cheap price, at least in the UK. Just make sure it's compatible with your specific console. And finally, you'll need an Xbox 360. Any model will do. Software-wise, you will need Velocity, specifically the Galdemar fork. Optionally, if you wish to copy your console's save across two, you will need WX Peers. Both will be linked in the description. Firstly, you will want to make sure that your game is up to date. It's been well over a decade since it came out, but double check anyway by launching it and seeing if Xbox coughs up an update. Next, you'll want to go ahead and install the game to your hard drive. Now, if you have the DLC, go ahead and install that too. Note that the DLC is not a requirement for Ecomp itself to function. It is, however, highly recommended as it contains the HD global illumination files. Having done that, shut down your console so that you can safely eject the storage. Go to the Velocity GitHub and download the latest release. Extract the files somewhere easily accessible, such as your desktop. Create a new folder and name it something like Unleashed Files. This is where we'll be dumping the game. Connect the Xbox hard drive to your PC using the hard drive transfer cable. Now open Velocity as administrator. It is important you do this, otherwise the drive will not be recognized. Once Velocity is open, it should automatically detect the hard drive. Go ahead and click Yes to the pop-up. From the drop-down menu, navigate to Shared Items. Here, you can drop down both the Games tab and the DLC tab. Hold Control on your keyboard and select Sonic Unleashed and its respective DLCs. Right-click on any of the highlighted files and then click Copy Selected to Local Disk. Navigate to the Unleashed Files folder you made earlier and select it. Velocity will now begin copying over the game files. This can take some time. Optionally, while you are here, you can copy your save data across too by dropping down your Xbox Live account and finding Sonic Unleashed. Once all the files have successfully been copied, close the Device Content Viewer window and navigate to Tools. Hover over Device Tools and then select Raw Device Viewer. A new window will now pop up. Navigate to the title update file by going to content slash cache and then sorting by name. Scroll down until you find a file beginning with TU and make sure it matches one of the ones shown on screen. 
notes, right click on the file and, as before, copy it to the folder on your desktop. Go to the Unleashed Recomp GitHub and download the latest release. Extract the archive and put it in a location you wish for the game to be installed. In my case, that's my general games folder on my SSD. Double click on the Unleashed Recomp application to open the installer. As this installer has been designed to run on a variety of devices, it includes support for controllers. Select the appropriate game language for yourself and hit Next. On this page, you'll be asked to locate the game files. If you're following on from part one, select the Add Files option and navigate to the location of your dumped game. Select the file beginning with TU and the one with a matching folder name, then click Open. The Game and Update options should now be highlighted. If you're installing the game using files that you've previously used with Xenia, select the Add Folder option. Navigate to the directory that contains default.xex and click Select Folder. Make sure that any mods you have previously had installed are disabled, otherwise the installation will fail. Continuing on to the next page, you will have the option to install any DLC files you have. We will again be using the Add Files option. If you don't have any DLC, then you can go ahead and skip this step. You'll now be presented with a screen that shows you the required space for the installation. Confirm that you have this available and the game will begin installing. And you're done! Download WX Peers from the link in the description and run it. On the menu bar, click File, then Open. Once again, navigate to your Game Dump folder, then select SYS-Data. Right-click on the file and extract it to your desktop. Go to your AppData roaming folder. This can be done by pressing the Windows key and typing percentage AppData percentage. Scroll until you find the Unleashed Recom folder and open it. Open the Save folder and move the SYS-Data file from your desktop across. Is this a virus? Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell. Will this run on my device? In order to run Unleashed Recomp, you must have a CPU that supports the AVX instruction set, as well as a GPU capable of running Direct3D12 or Vulkan. Detailed specs are shown on screen. Is this compatible with the Steam Deck? <laughs> What about Mac? Mac OS support is not currently on the roadmap, but the community is welcome to help. Can I use the PlayStation 3 version of the game instead? You cannot. However, all significant variations between the two versions have been included as options. I don't have an Xbox 360. Where can I get the game files? No clue. Bye. What about mods? Unleashed Mod Manager will be deprecated, and Hedge Mod Manager will become the preferred method of installation. All existing mods are compatible with this recon. I get an error during installation. Solution A. Make sure your game dump and the title update are from the same region. Solution B. If you're installing from files that you previously used on Xenia, make sure that any mods you've installed with the Unleashed Mod Manager are uninstalled. If issues with missing or corrupt files persist, you will need a fresh dump of the game. A feature or fix I want isn't in the game. Why not? Recomp will continue to be developed over time. Additional features may come later in the form of updates or Hedge Mod Manager codes. Seeing as the program is also open source, you can always make a fork on GitHub and add them yourself, if you have the know-how. Are you sure this isn't a virus? Further questions and more details are provided on the project GitHub page, so make sure you check that out.